Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mel's Cooking Song. Today, Sunday, fun day, got a special little cook for you. We're digging deep in the deep freeze right now. This coronavirus and everything going crazy, we figured, you know what, let's use up some of our talents in the deep freeze. So today, for your lucky viewing pleasure, we have... Oh, isn't that beautiful? nice little piece of deer here actually a mule deer shot up here in northern Alberta this is a nice hind chunk right here look at that beautiful and she's already been cleaned pretty well um, most of the silver skin has been removed I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more why not and then we're gonna season this up She's going to go for a nice low smoke on the big green egg. And then we're going to finish it up by braising it. Um, doing a nice, wonderful braise. The seasoning I'm using today, kind of a secret weapon with me in game. Spiceology, Sasquatch, the moss mixed with the dirt. This is a deadly combo. And for a base, salt, pepper, garlic. This thing wins red meats. Salt, pepper, garlic, has to happen. So, let's get in here. Just finish up that little bit. Some of the silver skin you can't remove because it's holding everything in. And that's fine. Some of this does, for deer especially, it's so thin that it almost cooks right off. Which is nice. Now that doesn't work so well with beef or pork, but deer, your silver skin, I don't know if it's just lighter. What, man, this, this smells incredible. I don't know if you guys are used to cooking game or not. I absolutely love game cooking the wife. Not so much. You have to hide the flavors a little bit. Me, I, I actually love the wild, wild flavors. But this one, she's going to be cooked down quite nicely. And I think if we do it the way that I'm thinking of doing it, and panning it at the very end. I might even throw some veggies in there with it while we do the braising. Um, I think this will be fork tender. You'd see these in tacos even. Oh, this would be great. I've had deer with mac and cheese. It's insane. Like there's, there's so many ways to use up your game. This will be great on its own. Don't mind that, but. working around the bones here see I don't want to pull that muscle right out I want this to cook together I hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves. This uh, this coronavirus is something else. Staying in, cooking out, definitely keeping people busy, which is nice. Love seeing people's talents raised up. And that's something that we're all doing right now. We're all trying to better ourselves. We've got nothing else to do. And that's good. That's what we want to see. Take this time to learn and grow as people. If you're with your family, this is a great time to get super close with your family. Just awesome. All right, that's about as much as I'm going to get going on here. Now, I'm going to use the pan. This will be the pan that I'll probably finish it in. But right now I'm going to use it to season it up. Just to hold that spice in there. So we're going to start. We're going to start right now. With salt, pepper, garlic. This is our base. Now I don't use a binder. Mel is not a fan of binders. And that's, 
That's my own personal preference. You can use mustard, you can use hot sauce. Me, I don't find the need. As soon as the salt hits the meat, it's already starting to tack up and draw moisture, which is what you wanted in the first place. So here we go. Beautiful coat. There, look at that. Oh yeah. Here we go. Salt, pepper, garlic. Smell it already. Wonderful, familiar smell. Now we're gonna go with the dirt, Sasquatch dirt. This stuff is amazing. And let me tell you, with game, the dirt and the moss mixed together, there's all kinds of big game rubs. For me, it's a go-to. It's for sure a go-to. Look at how good that looks, hey? Look how good that looks. This is gonna be phenomenal. We already fired that egg up, did a little fire in the hole for you. I'm sure you were following along for that. So, when I bring her out, we're gonna throw some wood chips down. I don't want something too heavy with this. I'll probably go cherry, to be honest with you, cherry or maybe alder. There we go. That moss. Just such wonderful herbs. Definitely brings out all kinds of flavors in this meat, which is what we want. Someone took the time to hunt and prep this beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. Why wouldn't you take the time, give it the respect, and cook it the best way you possibly can, which is what we're doing right here. There we go. Now she's prepped, ready to roll. We're going to go and fire this beauty up on the old big green egg here right away. Stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys, we seasoned her up, got her smoking. I put some cherry and some alder in there. And here we go. She's gonna be a beautiful cook. We can't say for sure how long she's gonna be, but look at that. How beautiful is that, all seasoned up. Slow smoking on the big green egg. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Stay tuned. Let's go ahead and check the temp of this bad boy here. Boom, where are we at? 122, 121. All right, so I want to see 130 in the center of this. I'm going to throw her in a pan, and I'm going to make almost like a glaze. I think we're going to go with a wine reduction with heavy seasoning. So I'll throw her in a pan with that, wrap it up, let it steam in there a bit just to finish it up but uh, we're close. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, and there it is. And there it is, look at. Oh yeah, we're finished. We're done. She's perfect, pulling off the bone. We're ready to go. We're gonna take her in here right away. All right, there she is. Let's do our test here right down the center. Boom, 140, ready to roll. 140 on the inside, that makes me happy. So we're gonna take this big, beautiful hunk of deer, look at that. And I'm gonna roll her over. Get her going in that pan. Now, I've got a wonderful red wine liquid that I made up using, again, that Spiceology Sasquatch moss and dirt with the salt, pepper, garlic, and then a half a bottle of red wine and a little bit of chicken broth. Chicken broth and deer go hand in hand. And now, there you go, just soak it up. This is it. I want this to be fork tender. Fork tender. So we're going to do that. And now, I'm going to send her in there for the wrap. Now essentially, essentially what I want is for her to steam. I want her to steam for a, a couple hours. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, look at that. Like it was meant to happen. And now, now we're going to put it back on the old big green egg to steam. And I'm going to crank the heat a bit. We're going to take her up to probably ah, 350. 350. There you don't mind the sausages. That's lunch. <laughs> I like to sneak lunch in there whenever possible. Well, it's always eat. Always eat. I can't help it. Now we're going to lock her up. We're going to roll for probably two hours. I want to say two hours. We want that internal temp to be up around 150, 160, which won't take too much unless you go through the stall, which we're kind of feeling out with this pan because everything goes through that stall. Big proteins like this, it's unavoidable. So like I said, we're going to turn her up a bit, let her steam in those beautiful wine and herb juices for a little bit until she hits our 145, 155, somewhere in there. We'll know when she's tender. I'll come and check on her. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, here we go. We got this beautiful leg of deer, muley deer. And there she is. There she is. Done to perfection on the big green egg. There it is. Just a little splash there, splash. Now, I think we're gonna cut her right on the board here. So, I shall put her there. There you go. Good, we're good, and there she is. Now, when it's tender like this, you can almost just pull it, right? You can almost just, just pull it with your hands. Oh, it smells fantastic. That's the tricky part about getting the game out of this. Dow strong, everybody. <laughs> I absolutely love those blades. Look, look at that. The meat just right off the bone. Just pulls apart, but let's see. Let's see what we can do right here. There we go. And there you go, everybody. This is beautifully seasoned smoked deer. The hind quarter. How do you feel about that? Look at, look at how she slices. Oh, that's gonna be sandwiches. That's gonna be tacos. Oh, you could even do an enchilada platter with this. Look, look at that. Look at how nice and juicy. Look how tender that is. Look at how, you ready for it? There it is. Oh, that beautiful Alberta game, ladies and gentlemen. Just pull it right off the bone here. This is what we were waiting for. Oh, that, that red wine gives it that beautiful finish. The herbs, everything. Oh, that's hot, even through the gloves. Even through the gloves. Look at that. Boom. So juicy. So tender. The smell, the taste. We nailed this, everybody. We nailed this. Spiceology, Sasquatch. Moss, dirt, the salt and pepper to give you that beautiful kind of crust on there, that beautiful coating with the red wine, a little bit of broth. This finished it up. This brought it home. This is an amazing, amazing cook. There you go. Bone in, pine quarter, cooked on the big green egg. 
season up that spiceology, bring it home. It's almost full pork, but it's deer. It's deer, look at that. Look, look at that, look how tender and juicy. Oh, so proud of myself. I'm done here. Mm. Thank you all for tuning in. Click subscribe, join the channel. You want to be part of these updates, you want to be part of these videos, we're rolling them out every week. Thanks for tuning in. Love you.